Good morning, friends. I'm Dr. Ajay Shah. I'm bringing you this quick uh, live on our page. I've taken the uh, last few weeks off. I was just busy at work, and, uh, you know, it's been, uh, it's been a busy, uh, you know, just recovering from all the hard work I put in over the last uh, six months with uh, a lot of guests on the live. So today's topic is uh, how to calculate your biologic age, biologic age. Uh, it's important that uh, as we get older, we start to realize how old we are internally, how our body is aging, because chronologic age is one thing. For example, I'm 58 years old, but I need to know how my body internally is aging. As you stay young internally and you keep progressing on a biologic age, you know, that's very, very healthy. So let's talk about how to calculate biologic age uh, so you know how old you are. Um, uh, some of the factors uh, which are important to know your biologic age include your cholesterol, your A1C, which is a measure of, uh, uh, of uh, blood sugar over 90 days. I have actually uh, uh, learned about a specific calculator, which I'm going to show you. It's called Morgan Levine Biologic Age Calculator. Morgan Levine Biologic Age Calculator. So let me go through all the things you will need to calculate your biologic age. You will need certain laboratory values, certain lab values, which you can obtain from your primary care when you go and see the primary care next time for your visit. Uh, first thing in the uh, calculator is albumin. Albumin is the protein which you can measure it in the blood and that albumin level should be about 4.5 to 4.8. Higher the better. Around 4.8 is the ideal. Know your albumin. Next is a creatinine. Creatinine is a function of how good your kidneys are functioning and creatinine should be between 0.7 and 1.0. So know your creatinine. Third one is glucose. Glucose is actually uh, just a measure how uh, insulin sensitive you are. So know your glucose. Below 100 is great. Below 85, below even 80 is perfect. Next one is a HSCRP. HSCRP is a marker of inflammation. And if, you're, if you have chronic inflammation, your body is aging internally. So know your HSCRP. Having HSCRP below one is the ideal. Below 0.4 is very, very good. The next one is the lymphocyte. Is the, is the type of white blood cells, which you can measure it by just having the blood count done. Lower, higher the lymphocyte, better for you. For example, when you look at your WBC count, uh, which is you can get it by blood, you can actually know how much neutrophils you have and how much lymphocyte you have. Higher the neutrophil count, higher the inflammation you have. Ideal ratio of neutrophil and lymphocyte should be around but uh, lymphocyte around 25% is ideal. MCV, corpus curve volume, which is a measure of how your red blood cells, uh, how the size of the real blood blood cells are. So knowing your MCV is very important. Next one is RDW, red cell dispersion width, which can also actually measure by having a, your uh, CBC or complete blood count done. Uh, RDW of around uh, uh, 12.5 to 12.8 is ideal. Next one is alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase actually is a measure of liver function and below 100 is ideal. Below 50, below 80 is actually perfect. Uh, and next one is a WBC count. Actually, it's proven that people who have a WBC above 5.0, they have a low level of chronic inflammation. WBC zero is ideal between 3.7 and 4.5 is actually perfect so i given you this parameters of calculating biologic age let me quickly repeat them uh, so you can have it in your list you can actually ask your primary care physician when you see the physician next time copy of your labs and you can calculate Age. Let me quickly repeat them. First is albumin. Second is creatinine, which is a measure of kidney function. Third one is glucose. Uh, fourth is HSCRP, which is a marker of inflammation. Fourth is lymphocyte, which is a type of white blood cell. Uh, next one is a mean corpus curve volume, uh, which is the way your red blood cells count, uh, size of the red blood cells. 
Next one is RDW, which is again how your red blood cell count sizes. Next one is alkaline phosphatase. And next one is a WBC. So know all this uh, uh, nine parameters and you will know your biologic age. I plugged in my own numbers. I'm 58 years old. And according to this my age is about 43. So calculate your biologic age. If you need help, you can actually uh, ask me and I'll help you to calculate biologic age. I will uh, put the, the link to the biologic age calculator. Get your labs and calculate your biologic age. Knowing your biologic age is important. I hope you like this video. Share with your friends. Um, we will be doing more of this. And, uh, and uh, uh, we'll see.